Hey guys, so today we will be making a zombie from Plants vs. Zombies to kick off spooky season. We used a couple of colors from the Erdo bucket. We used green and blue to make this little zombie green, white, black, red, and brown too. To start, we're gonna mix green and blue, and it's gonna give us a nice dead zombie skin color. So this is one of my favorite games in the last couple of years. Uh, there was a lot of sequels, I didn't play all of them, but the first one for sure was really fun to play. I loved all the little sunflowers and the, the big walnuts I think that there were. Those were pretty fun. Alright, so we got a weird potato shape and now we're just gonna make little holes and dents for the eyes. And then we're gonna cut in a cute little smile. Uh, kind of dig in there. You want a big mouth because he's going to have really giant teeth in there too. So just carve in there. And with the rest of the color that we have, we're going to make his hands. So you're going to want to divide, divide what's left into two balls and then split those into more balls. So eventually you're going to have, you know, the same amount just to keep the fingers and hands even. So one of these we're going to sculpt into like a teardrop shape and that's going to be his his palm and his thumb combined and do the same thing with the other ball. And then the remaining ones we're going to divide up again and we're going to make the rest of the four fingers for each hand. Don't worry about it, um, making them all exactly the same size. It's a zombie anyway, so it's going to look a little you know, a little spooky, a little wonky. All right, so we're rolling them all. Cool, cool. So we're gonna make little cylinder shapes and then kind of make it into a cone. Gonna do that for all of these little shapes. It's pretty simple. And then once we got these in, we're gonna make the fingers on and attach them. So there's one hand. You wanna kinda blend them into the hand if you can and then you know shape them into, if you wanna have it gesturing or whatever, you can do that too. So we got two hands now, we're gonna put those aside and we're gonna continue. So now we are going to grab black and white to make the eyes. So I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Um, the eyes are kind of lopsided. So I'm going to try to get them to a nice size. Kind of want them um, bulging out of the head a little bit. Alright, that feels about right. So we're going to plop one in and then grab the other one. So I'm gonna make the eye hole a little bit bigger because it's, it's a bigger eye. All right, that looks good. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of black. It's kind of hard to, to handle, but do your best. <laughs> Oops. All right, that looks good. If it's too hard to, to get the tiny little bits of black, you can always just grab, you know, a marker or whatever, a pen maybe, and then just, you know, do, do a little dot in there. So next we're going to do his mouth. So we're gonna grab a little bit of red. Do like a little slug shape. Plop it in the mouth and grab our knife and kind of flatten it in there. Tuck it in. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna poke some nose holes. And then we are going to make teeth. These don't have to be, you know, perfect. It's a, again, it's a zombie, so it's gonna look a little scary. Give it as many teeth as you want. I'm choosing to do four just to make it somewhat even. So one kind of coming from the bottom, one from the top, and then again on the other side. 
and that's got a little crazy smile. All right, we got the head done. Now we're gonna make the jacket. We're gonna make the arms first. So I just divided the brown into two evenish shapes. And then one of them I divided again. Roll it up. And then we're gonna make uh, two cone shapes to make the, like, the jacket sleeves. And flatten one end. There's one. Do the same thing on the other one. Cool. Seems pretty even. Plop that in there. So that's one arm. And then do the same thing to the other one. All right. Looks pretty cool. This is gonna be for the jacket. So I'm gonna make like a triangle shape. The actual body is gonna be mainly white. It's gonna be his like undershirt. So I'm gonna roll that. Cool, we'll make like another cone shape. I use a lot of cone shapes in this. <laughs> uh, it's still a little too big. You want it, you want to exaggerate it a little bit, make the head the most prominent piece. All right, that's a little smaller. Let's try that out. Eh, all right. This, this should be good this time. All right, yeah, cool. So then we're gonna flatten this, it was too big. Do a triangle again. All right, flatten it out, flatten it out. And then we're gonna wrap it around the, the white. So that's his little jacket, cause it's cold out. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna get a little bit of brown and make um, his collar. So make like a slug shape and then just plop that in there. And once that's good, we're gonna make his tie. So the actual zombie tie in the game is uh, striped, but we don't have time for that. So <laughs> we're just gonna make it a plain red. Then we'll make a good diamond shape, plot that in, put his head on top. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of water and dab on his jacket so that the arms are easier to stick. And then this is where you can kind of pose him in however way you want. I'm gonna make one of his arms kind of raise a little bit, like he's re reaching out for you, just wants a hug. And there we have it, Mr. Zombie from Plants vs. Zombie. Thanks for watching. Remember that we do these every week on Friday. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment below. Let me know what you want me to build.